Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, this week's Odyssey is going to be an extreme mode Odyssey. Don't worry, we're going to get through it very easy. I got a very easy strat for each map. And no hero for the bonus secret achievement. So we will be using hero, which is going to be two monkey buccaneers, five villages, three druids, five snipers, four attack shooters, four bombs, one silver reed, one plate, four wizards, five ninjas, and an alchemist. And let's head right into Winter Park. We're going to start off with a ninja monkey start. We're going to use ninja monkey start a lot here. So just kind of get familiar with this start. What we're going to try and do is form uh, a little square. We're only going to place four towers for this uh, map. So we're just going to do Ninja Monkey right in that top left. Just to the bottom right of that plus. We're just going to place all the towers around that plus, that intersection. And then we're just going to get Ninja Discipline. Once you get Ninja Discipline, get uh, Seeking Shuriken. Then get Sharp Shuriken. Then save up a bit. And get Double Shot. And then once you get Double Shot, just play it out until you get ninja ninjutsu once you get ninjutsu we're gonna place down a sniper and this is gonna be the top right of that intersection right above the ninja we're just gonna place him on strong get full metal jacket to deal with the leads uh, for round 28 and 30 and we're just gonna get full metal jacket right now that gets some faster shooting and then even faster shooting all right perfect now we're just going to save up a bit and start placing our attack shooter in that top left of the intersection. And we're just going to get hot shots with the middle path cross path. So it's going to be a 3-2-0 attack shooter right there. And then just save up for ring of fire. Perfect. Now right before the Moab, we're just going to save up and get a village. And we're going to make it a 2-0-0 zero, zero village. And that should beat the Moab easy peasy. And then we should have enough money for primary training right after the Moab, and we're just going to save up for primary mentorship. Once we get primary mentorship, we're going to get camo on that village. Should be a 420. And now we're all set. We just got to do some final upgrades. We're going to get the deadly precision and the, the 200 to a 300, and then finally a 400. Sniper on strong and then we're gonna have Caltrops money right after that and whenever we have Caltrops money That means we've won so just play it out to round 60 You're gonna have 20k to spare, but don't place any other towers because it's extreme mode And then we're gonna head to park path and the reason we don't want to place any towers for extreme mode is because once you place that tower It's gone for the entire Odyssey so yeah, we're going to start with a little ninja monkey right in between the two tracks there. We're just going to get ninja discipline, then seeking shuriken, then sharp shots, uh, sharp shurikens. <laughs> and just get used to that, but instead of saving up for double shot, we need to place an alchemist on round 10, because this is alternate balloon rounds, which means round 10 is going to have leads. Then we can save up for double shot on round 13. Then we're going to get acidic mixture jib, a 200 alchemist uh, to the left of our ninja, and we're going to save up for the alchemist. Buff. And once we get the elk buff, we're going to save up for blue jitsu, and then we can start getting a 320 elk now that we have blue jitsu, just to strengthen the buff. And once we have the 320 elk and the 401 ninja, we're going to start getting a Moab Mauler to the right of the ninja. We're going to put him on strong, so that's just going to be a 030 cannon. And then we're going to add long range, so it's going to be 031. And then right before the Moab, we're going to start adding a village that can reach them all. And then we're just going to get jungle drums real quick. And then we're going to get the primary training, and we're just going to chill lax and watch it beat the fortified Moab on round 40. And then we can get Moab Assassin. Our uh, 041 cannon, and then we're going to get primary mentoring. Which means we can now place that tack shooter in that bend there, and we're gonna get a 203 and then a 204 overdrive. And then once we get the overdrive, we can upgrade the alchemist to a uh, stronger stimulant, and then we're gonna get the camo detection on the village by round 48. And then after that, we're just gonna be J chilling. So once we get that, we're just gonna save up for attack zone. And once you get the attack zone, you pretty much won, because then we're just gonna save up. Uh, we got the Caltrops money, we got the Frag Bombs money, that's how you know we're rich. And then you can just get primary expertise on round 73 and just call it a day. It'll be all the way to round 80, so you can just chillax. And yeah, super easy guide. 25k to spare. Life is good. 
then our next map is going to be even easier. This is going to be a three tower map, so just watch and learn, because we're going to put a ninja in that super good square to the right. We're going to put it as low as possible, just so we can fit a druid there later. And, uh, you know, if you had uh, ninja discipline into seeking shuriken on your bingo card, then you just got a bingo, because that's what we're about to do. So we're just going to save up until we get, you know, ninja discipline. And after that, we're gonna save up until we get to see each sure again. And then, wild guess here, wild guess, we're gonna save up until we get sharp shurikens. That's how easy this Odyssey is. Then we're gonna save up for double shot. Then you already know the drill. Save up for blue jutsu. It's gonna be round 25. And now here's where it differs. We're gonna place just a hard thorn druid with a thorn swarm. And it's going to be in the top of that square by round 28. And then we're going to start getting the divine upgrades, the 130 druid. And then we're just going to get a wizard right to the left of that pool. And we're going to get dragon's breath. It's going to be a 3, uh, 032 wizard. And that will be the Moab easy peasy. And then we can get jungle's bounty on round 42. Then bam, after jungle's bounty, do nothing and just save up for spirit of the forest on round 62 get the little lightning we got caltrops money now and then once you get the lightning upgrade you're literally set you've won this entire map but like i said just a three tower easy peasy spirit of the forest op so then we're just gonna head into our next map spring spring and we're gonna start off with a ninja monkey as per usual and we're just gonna save up for you guessed it let me hear you say it Ninja Discipline, but this time, I decided to shake things up. We got Sharp Shurikens before the Seeking Shurikens, but it really doesn't matter which order, as long as we get Double Shot. Then Bloom Jitsu on round 21. And then to pop leads, we're just going to place a Wizard right below the uh, Ninja, and we're just going to get Wall of Fire. And then uh, that should have deal with all the leads on round 28 and 30. And we're just going to get another wall fire above that wizard, because I like symmetry on this map. No other reason, to be honest. And we're just going to get another wall fire. And then we're going to give that one intense magic. And then we're going to give the other one intense magic as well. And then we have enough save up for a dragon's breath and a monkey sense on the top wizard. And then we're going to just place a plane kind of, you know two towers out from the other troops and we're just gonna get the center path and we're gonna get never miss starts cuz that's OP and we're just gonna get the Moab dead and once the Moab dies we're just gonna place a village and get a two zero zero jungle drums village right in between all the towers and we're just gonna get camo as well and once we get the 220 village with the camo, we're gonna get another Dragon's Breath with the monkey sense on the bottom wizard. And then we're pretty much chill. And we're gonna get a sniper in the range of the village, just above everything else. We're gonna get the shrapnel shot, and then we're just gonna get to the semi-auto by round 49. And then when round 50 comes, once we pop that Moab, we should have enough money to get a full auto rifle. Perfect. And then we're just gonna save up. Till then, Elite Defender, just chillax, chillax at your Elite Defender. Then we're just going to place a Druid on the opposite side of the Sniper, because, again, I like symmetry on this map. And we're just going to get, you know, Jungle's Bounty, get the Lightning Upgrade, and now we're chilling. We've won the game. We have Caltrops money. I am ashamed of myself. I forgot to buy Caltrops on this run, so very sorry about that. We had Caltrops money, though. We won. And then the final map, we've won. We've won. We got 16 towers to spare. We're just going to start with a Buccaneer in that top section. And we're just going to let that play out until round, I think, 6. We can afford a ninja. We're going to put a ninja right on that little intersection there. And we're going to save up for ninja discipline. Then we're going to get sharp shurikens, just like last time. And then... You know, get the Seeking Shuriken, double shot, and then instead of saving up for Ninjutsu, we're going to get a Bottom Path Buccaneer to Merchant Men. Perfect, so 003 Buccaneer. And then we're just going to place a Druid by that first group of stones, and we're just going to get a 110 Druid to pop the leads. And then we're going to place another boat next to our boat friend. They're going to be Jay chilling in the water together. And we're going to get that to a merchant man, I think, on round 33. Yeah, perfectly. 
round 33, no, start of round 34, don't worry. Then you're gonna get Merch Event. Then we're gonna get the Vines on our Druid Vine upgrade, so a 130 Druid. Then we're gonna set a Cannon on Strawn, just to, you know, make a little triangle with the Ninja Monkey and the Druid, and get a 031, you know, Moab Baller with extra range. Then we're gonna place a sub next to our boat friends. We're gonna get the advanced intel, and then we're gonna get the, you know, the twin guns, the air burst starts, and then end it with a triple. And then to give vision to our sub, we're gonna put it down just a monkey sense, 002 wizard for now. And then we're gonna upgrade to favored trades on one boat, and then get ninjutsu. And then after ninjutsu, get another favorite trades, and we're chilling after this. We're going to be making so much money. We're going to get Wall of Fire on our wizard. We're going to get Moab Assassin before round 50, so I'm like round 48, 49. And then we're going to get Shimmer on round 49. Then, you know, get the Necromancer. Check out this new Necromancer update. You can now place it like a, a balloon trap or a Wall of Fire, so you can pick where the balloon spawns. So I'm just going to make the balloon spawn right behind the wall of fire. You can pick anywhere really. I just like it behind the wall of fire. And then we're just gonna get jungle's bounty, you know, oh, a 240 druid. And then we're gonna have a bunch of money. So it's Caltrap's money time. I just upgraded a bunch of random stuff. And then we're gonna save up to our Prince of Darkness. And once you get Prince of Darkness, I recommend just placing the dead balloons as far up the track as you can go. And you've won, you've won. Literally, I just messed around. I made a little smiley face. I hope you like my little smiley face. It's blue and red because uh, he has 3D goggles. So my little monkey smiley face can actually see in 3D. And bam, that's the Odyssey. We're going to get 50 trophies, which is always nice. Spend it wisely. There's a new chameleon pet for 50 trophies. Go out. Buy the chameleon pet. It's awesome. I've been Jungle Monkey 7 and peace.